Hey everyone, this will be a video just demonstrating how I wired a Cory Wong panic switch into my guitar by using a push-pull part. Now you can use either push-pull or push-push, but they're going to be essentially the same thing. It doesn't have to be like extremely complicated switch. Any switch from Amazon will work. I just picked the one where the review says it's durable. For people who know how to do this already, here's the wiring diagram. Now for people who actually want to know how it works, I'm going to go through how I made a version of my own so you can do that for you as well. So the most important part of being able to do what I do is to have a switch that has more than one pole. Uh, most switches have two, three, great, four, even better, because then you can also incorporate whatever you want on like the last pole. So for this project, I went with a four pole switch. I was going to do a split humbucker, but I decided against it. So the last pole is just grounded. Nothing's connected to it. The first two pole is going to be acting as your normal switch, where you can wire whichever position you want into anything and that works like a normal switch. What's going to be important is having an extra pole so you can connect whatever position you want on all of the positions on that pole. So the gist of both circuits is that you wire one of the pickups onto every position on the other pole. So how a push-pull part works is that there are two common pins and there are four switching pins. So what happens is that in down positions, these four bottom ones are connected and these four top ones are connected. And then the part on top is just a separate normal part. So you would wire that as you would in a normal part. So to summarize my circuit, I basically use two poles to act as a normal switch. And then I join the middle pickup to all of the switch positions on another pole. And then the neck pickup goes to the down position out from common and into the panic pole. Now with the other side of the switch, you're basically going to have your output, or in this case, I'm using this as a volume part. So the common goes to the volume part and out to the output. So I wire the two poles, which are acting as a normal switch together, connect them to the bottom pin. The top pin, I connect the pole that I have my fourth position connected to. So when I am pushed down, I'm basically stuck in fourth. And then when I pull up my push-pull switch, it's going to be using the switch. The reason I'm doing that is just because I record a lot of my stuffs with that particular guitar. And that switch is just too close to the strings. So I keep hitting it, it gets very annoying. So might as well just lock it in place. And when I really want to use the switch and just pull it up and then I can use whatever pickup I want. So if you want to wire it the Kari Wong way, you just switch the bottom and the top pins. So when you're pushed down, the switch activates and when you pull up, uh, it goes into fourth. That's basically the circuit. A very quick way to make sure that your switch work is to just have a lead going to an amp. If I touch my common pin with the hot part of the cable and I touch the top, there's gonna to be no sound because that's not connected. And if I touch the common with my finger and the bottom pin, it's going to be sound. And now when I pull it up, I can do the same thing where I can touch the bottom pin and come on. And that's not going to make any sound. And I can touch the common and top. And so that's just a really quick way of making sure that your part works before it goes in. And you can, you can just do the same thing to both sides. 